Hi guys, I'm Nightingel and welcome to another Skull the Hero Slayer video that will hopefully help you with your own gameplay. As always, I'll give you my post-game analysis of this game. Since I have no problem getting into the second area of this game, I'm just starting the video here because it's too uninteresting to look at level 1. The rooms in 2-1 is pretty consistent. I can most of the time tell where enemies are spawning and how they are triggered so I can plan ahead and prepare for their spawn. The mob size is definitely much larger than level 1, so be prepared to have a skull with AoE attacks oh ready. Oh god, really? Picking up nice heart here is really nice since it prevents a lot of potential damage from enemies. However, at this point, I still didn't have a unique or legendary skull yet, so that is really unlucky. Also, because my spear skull neither has the charge nor the block skill, it basically is just a bad skull to have. When I fought against these two adventurers, my quintessence was the key here. I basically beat them up so easily since this dark vortex did more than half of the pyromancer's health. Since she died quite easily, I can then avoid the Leroy Jenkins dude without much problem. Otherwise, this fight isn't really that bad, but I would've probably took more damage.
In this second adventurer fight, I got a bit careless. I let both of the adventurers charge their ultimate attacks up. That could have been prevented. However, since I still had this stupid spear skull with me, it was a bit more difficult than normal. Also, I misplaced my Dark Vortex Quintessence, which could have prevented me from taking some damage. Still, it was not too bad of a fight, but it could have been much better. Alright guys, I'm finally here on the second boss, but my HP is so low right now. I have less than half of my HP here. Less than half. I came here basically on this quintessence alone. This thing basically was the key to my progress here. Because of this, it has skill attack. Uh, increased by 30% uh, so my mummy's head bomb thing this head bomb mummy bomb uh, this this skill here this damage is increased and then I have uh, I mean skeleton spear is just so bad now uh, I actually don't know why I kept I am keeping it <laughs> maybe I should have uh, switched it for the for the rider but I'm pretty unlucky in that I didn't even get a unique skull, let alone a legendary one. But I do have uh, this uh, Nar Naya's heart. This uh, freezes everyone who damages me. I don't know if it will work on this uh, second area boss. Uh, some crits. This, I don't know if this will work on the boss or not, but this is gonna be tough. I might just die like right away. Okay, well, good luck me. <laughs> I heard someone sneaked into the castle. Would ever think they'd get this far? By the way, I'm surprised. It's just one skeleton. <laughs> Say, how do you like our banquet hall? Never seen anything like it, have you? For a primitive demon like you, something like this must blow your mind. And here, we meet the captain of the Cardinal Empire's Golden Main Knights, the strongest man on earth, and the three time winner of Cardinal's Handsomest Man Award. And it's a shame. You could have saved your leader if it weren't for me. I'm too strong for you. Let me introduce you to someone more suitable for you. Alright. Fight these sisters here. There's pride and joy of this golden main knights. The picnic is over, kiddo. Considering this is the first time seeing this second boss, I think I did okay. This fight is much different from Extra Seal and it's faster paced than other parts of this game. Although Mini is good and does more damage, I believe that having a ranged skull is still key in beating this boss, either the mummy or the archer, since Jester is just too awkward to play. Also, the quintessence I had to face the second boss is not ideal at all because the boss is too small 
and the quintessence only targets a fixed area. Fuck me, okay, I'm dead. Ah. <sighs> this boss fight is so difficult. It, there's this first phase and then if after you kill one of them, the other one turns insane and then uh, you have to kill the other one too. So there's a second phase to it. I don't know. I don't know. I just lost too much health finding the second adventurer set. The, the two adventurers, so I think were uh, the, the archer and the flame guy, the sorcerer, the pyromancer. Uh, and I think I, I because I misplaced my uh, quintessence, I lost a bunch of health because of it. Well, too bad. Too bad, so sad. <laughs> Obviously, I will tr continue trying. To beat this second boss. Hopefully I will beat these second bosses really soon and then head down into the third area. I know that the third area is even harder. Uh, I think I still need a unique skull. At least a unique skull and not just this stupid spear guy. This spear guy is so bad. I thought I got I had a um, dashing move, but then I got this buffing move for some reason. And then I just died. Well, wow. adventurers defeated five. I think at least six adventurers, right? Ah. <sighs> so. Um, I have played off camera trying to beat this game or trying to at least get into the uh, to see the second boss but uh, so I do have this calcium injection level one here for swapping uh, swapping slowdown and I'm thinking of getting this level two. Should I get it to level 2? Probably. Salary skill cooldown by for each skill. Oh, so when you kill something, your skill would cool down a lot more. Or, yeah, I'm just gonna get the calcium injection first. That was the second area. Even though there are obviously videos out there showing all three bosses uh, for this game already. Uh, I still want to beat it on my own and then have my own video up on YouTube. And also the videos that are already out up, they're not uh, played on the latest patch. So hopefully, hopefully I will beat the game soon. So stay tuned for that and consider subscribing if you like this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.